on my channel i routinely show you how to install models locally whenever i show you the models which i am installing locally i normally use these quantized version of the models and especially i use the models in gguf format gguf stands for gpt generated unified format it is a file format for storing llms for inference with ggml and executors based on ggml gguf is a binary format that is designed for fast loading and saving of models and for ease of reading models are traditionally developed using pytorch or another framework like tensorflow and then they are converted to gguf for use in ggml i am asked lot of time as what exactly is this quantization and what are the differences between different quants or quanti quantized models for example if you go to hugging face and hugging face page of blog you will see there are lot of models this guy quantize for instance on your screen you can see that this is a quantized version of capybara's harms 2.5 mistral 7 billion gguf format and if you go to the files you will see that there are lot of quantized version of this capybaras as you can see now if you hover over these files or open them they are similar but bit different for example if i open the first file it is the same model but with q4ks dot gguf if i open the second one it is still q4 but q4km instead of ks and then we also have q5km so in this video i am going to explain in very simple words what exactly is meant by this q5 k and m and what is the difference between km ks and q5 and q4 and similarly the same would be valid for other quantized levels like q5 q4 q3 q7 and so on and so forth before i delve into that let me explain what exactly quantize this quantized mean so for example this q4 means that the model has been quantized to 4 bit precision so quantization is a process used to reduce the model size and computational requirement by decreasing the precision of the model's weight from floating point to lower bit integers this makes the model faster and less resource intensive to run with a trade off in accuracy now the terms s m and k in the name of quantized version of base language models like this one q4ks and uh, q4km typically denote the model size and configuration particularly regarding its knowledge distillation and quantization approach for instance in this one k stands for knowledge suggesting that the model has undergone a process of knowledge distillation knowledge distillation is a technique where a smaller model is trained to mimic the behavior of a larger more complex model this process aims to preserve as much of the larger model's effectiveness as possible in the smaller model then we have things like s and m these letters usually denote the size or variant of the model with s standing for small and m for medium these variants indicate different configurations or sizes within the quantized and distilled version of the base model affecting performance speed and resource requirements the specific differences between s and m variants would depend on the architecture and design choices made during the model's development such as the number of parameters the complexity of the layers or the depth of the network now if you want to know more about quantization then let me try to explain it in more different way in a in a more simple way so quantization is mainly like doing a sort of you know um, i should say that it would be like LLM wants to choose the next best word to write but reviews everything it's written so far before making a decision. It knows the general location of the right word to use but needs to point out the coordinates of the data in its neural network to land in the right spot. 
the more you quantize the less accurate the model becomes at performing this approach it's like a compass that can only point in certain number of degrees instead of the whole 360 if your compass were quantized to the hours of a clock for example as you move through space you end up overshooting or missing your target an llm outputs a wrong word and has to deal with it and carry on further exacerbating the issue you can also say that you quantize an image and you throw away the smaller details. The image looks fine from a distance, but you are not lo no longer able to accurately describe finer details such as texture or material of the image. One method is just to say all greenish things are now one shade of green. The tree with its many leaves is now a mess of green without detail. You can see that it's a tree, but how many leaves are on it, who knows? That is what quantization is. So the higher the quantization and you can imagine that more messy green it will be. Now it's a very very vague and high level requirement but I hope that it made sense. If you still have any questions around quantization and all these numbers please feel free to ask in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching I hope that you liked the content if you did please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.